Honorable Chairman, sir, I too rise to participate in the special motion tabled by our colleague, by George B. Lingdor, MLA, on an important and pertinent discussion on the ongoing interstate boundary settlement between Meghalaya and Assam. Honorable Chairman, sir, this exercise began on the 6th of August, 2021. And much publicity was already being shared and communicated to the people of the state of Meghalaya that finally, after the culmination of 50 years of statehood, the government of Meghalaya was going to sit down and have a threadbare discussions with the counterparts of the state of Assam. There was ample time given to everyone. All polit political leaders, sir, to my information, have been invited to several meetings in the past. There have been attempts made by this government to bring on board all necessary contribution that should culminate in a part solution of six areas in the borders. I must place on record my sincerest appreciation to the Honorable Chief Minister for having had the courage and the maturity to take on the continuous disturbances that have been occurring in our border areas for as long as I have been born. Very disturbing, sir, when the state of Meghalaya, 50 years of statehood, we don't even have a designated official map. And finally, we have a government that is saying, we will take on board all important stakeholders. So 22 exhaustive field trips, interactions, meetings, consultations, not one stakeholder has been left out of the board. Everybody was brought on to the same page, and through 26 important dialogues and discussions, there was a final MOU of settlement. Now, that is historical. So we understand that there will be all kinds of interpretations of all kinds of usages of words on the floor of this August house. Rush, helpless, these are all negative words. Why would someone not be in a rush after being 50 years old to not even have a pata of one owns home? It, it would be disastrous for me as a mother. At 50 years of age, having built a house in my land and telling my kids that, look here, none of you have rights to claim this land because I don't even have a pata. So this is a bigger perspective of things. So we are not helpless. Two of our MLAs also joined the regional committees. And we've been in consultation with them. We've been in communication with them. They represented the five of us who all could not be part of the active dialoguing. Because, sir, it is difficult to call everybody to all meetings, wherever the locations are. We were happy that this government recognized the two MLAs in these two key locations 
West Cass Hills and Riboy. And I stand by the commitment made by these two members in the regional committees who themselves, by the way, Chairman Sir, had engaged actively in all of these meetings that were called. They were not meetings of having simple tea and lunch. They were meetings which were very, very livid, very, very, you know, full of exchange of words. There was nothing that was simple in any of these dialoguing meetings. And in fact, every stakeholder was given ample opportunity to actually place before the committees their stand on the matter of border dispute. So we have tried several other formulas in the past. There is no doubt that the learned and experienced individual like the Honorable Leader of Opposition, he was also talking about this discourse of how history alone maybe cannot be the only way to actually fighting for land and demarcation of states. So therefore, this government has done the correct thing. It has done the right thing where it has gone to the border to discuss with the people living in the border. For a person like me who lives in Shillong City, I will not have any idea as to where all of these locations are, except that I did look them up in the map when I was aware of this border dialogue that was going on. But let me tell you, the people of those regions actually put in a lot of effort to be heard. In one of the reports I had read, that actually people went to Assam and cancelled their epics and decided on their own that they wanted to be with Meghalaya and decided to keep the epic of the state of Meghalaya. That was the kind of active discussion that was going on on the ground. So the word ethnicity is very, very difficult to really dis to, to define specifically. What is ethnic to me may seem unethical or unethnic to somebody else. So I believe that this exhaustive exercise that was inclusive in its nature and initiated by this government should be something that all 60 MLAs sign on with. It is very dangerous to bring to this house some very controversial words that I am not happy, that I don't agree, that this many kilometers have gone there and this kilometers have gone there. You see, sir, it can create more confusion in the long run. My sincerest appeal to all of us in this August House is to refrain from sparking yet another border dispute agenda. I would like to see that this MOU signed by the two states gets the signature and the seal of the government of India. In fact, that is what we need to talk about now. In fact, we should ask this government, what do you want us to do to ensure that we give a final seal, at least on phase one of the discussions. My colleague, Pakimfa, MLA of Ramrai Jirngam, was actually telling me today, as we had a cup of tea, that the people there are waiting to celebrate, waiting for the final seal of this document with the government of India. That is the kind of new perspective that we must try to digest. We should celebrate along with these people who have lived in fear for generations. The constant uh, 
difficulties that they have had. Government of India comes, tries to bring in power. There will be another group of people saying, we don't want government of Meghalaya's power. Assam will try to bring an ICDS center. Here we have these people saying, we don't want that ICDS center. That was the kind of active conflict that was actually dominating in those areas. And I feel that if this government, in its all serious approach, should not just be rubbished off as someone who is in a hurry, someone who is looking for a political score, because I believe that as a responsible legislator of this August House, I have read every page of the report. I have consulted with colleagues who were members of the regional committee. And I have understood the entire gamut of discussion in this MOU that was signed. Sir, we know that there will be some amount of uh, uncertainty on, on some quarters as to whether or not enough work has been done. But I believe that if we go forward from here, we still have phase two. And it is important that areas in phase two are far more difficult than areas in phase one. I believe that every idea that was contributed on this important debate here in the House, sir, should be kept on record, should be taken into consideration, should be noted by the Honorable Chief Minister. And as we hope to see the, the completion of the signing of the MOU for Phase 1, we will work together to ensure that we protect the land of our people. So it is not true to say that land belonging to someone belongs to the state. It is an incorrect interpretation. My land is my land. And if the stakeholders of those areas feel that they and their lands are protected and they are in agreement of the proposed signing of this MOU, let us leave it there and let us see whether we can progress ahead and make sure that we stand tough, we stand with strength, we stand, we stand tall when we proceed to the second phase of the dialogues for the settlement of the interstate boundary between the state of Meghalaya and Assam. I wish that uh, we were given more time to talk about all the detailed discussions that took place in all of these reports. But because of the paucity of time, I can only take one resolution for myself, and that is, if the going is good, let's appreciate. If the going is strong, let us give more strength, and let us put behind us this border dispute that has been disturbing us for as long as the age of the state goes. With these few observations, sir, I send my sincerest appeal to members of the opposition to consider some of the logical debates that we have tried to discuss here. I know that everything cannot be taken on board, but we need to give this government all the support it requires so that this settlement sees the light of day. And with these few submissions, Mr. Chairman, sir, I resume my seat.